Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. We're gonna be doing a really quick demo of a brand new plugin that is on the lspdfar.com site. It's called an Axon Signal. It's in beta right now, but you can download this and try it out for yourself. It is by Sergeant Nighthawk. And I think it's a pretty cool idea. Every time you unholster your weapon, it plays the uh, Axon body cam sound. And then also, if you go into stage three lighting, it will also activate the body cam sound. So we're gonna go ahead and download this and get it onto our desktop and I'll show you how to install it. Okay, we have the zip file on our desktop right now. It's just called an Axon Signal Beta. And then we're gonna pull up our main game directory and you're gonna see our plugins folder right there. We're gonna go ahead and unzip this. And then my advice is probably just uh, extract it onto the desktop, but you could take this folder right here. We'll just move it onto the desktop like this. Now, since we extracted it, we don't really need the zip file anymore. And so we have the folder right here called Axon Signal. So when you open this, you're gonna see a Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. And you're gonna see a plugins folder. So just take the plugins folder and drag it right into your main game directory down here. You're gonna go to your plugins folder. I've got a lot of things installed, I apologize, but this is the way it is when you mod things. You're gonna see a Axon Signal sound, which we'll talk about in just a second. You're gonna see an a Axon Signal DLL and an Axon Signal INI. Now within the INI file, you're gonna see a file that looks like this. The uh, body cam record key is the O key. And you can change this to anything you'd like if you want to change it. Uh, I found the X key to work pretty well as well. Uh, but you could use other keys. It's totally up to you. And then you can kind of read through here uh, what you can change, like the parameter for how long the beeps will occur. Uh, you can change it a little bit you know, shorter or longer, whichever you'd fill. Now, he's already given you some default weapons here of what you normally would acquire or have on you during a patrol. You can go to right here and it'll tell you the different types of weapons. Uh, there's one thing I, I do want to point out to you. If you don't want to see the messages on the screen, which we'll show you in just a moment, you can always deactivate it. Once you get familiar with how the mod works, uh, my advice is probably deactivate that. So that way the messages do not appear on the screen. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to leave it as true. So that way we can see what is on the screen and what is happening. Okay, there's one more thing I want to show you inside your plugins folder. And that is the folder up here called Axon Signal Sound. Now you're going to have a couple of different uh, file sounds here. This is the body cam start. Mm -hmm. And then this is the stop. This is uh, showing that it's been recorded, if you will. It's more for RP element. There's really no video saved per se. But we're going to go ahead and click here. Now, if you're not happy with that, if they're too loud for you, things like that, you could probably download a WAV file editor uh, somewhere on Google, I'm sure. And you could probably uh, decrease the sound that way. If you do find a different sound that you're that you're more happy with, make sure that it's named exactly the same way this is. That is body cam start, body cam stop. I do have a new sound that I'm gonna probably end up replacing it with, and uh, I'll show you what it sounds like. So this is my sound that I will show you the link for. And uh, if you go to the internet, it'll be right here. It's called it's by DWU Axon Body Three Active Recording. So it's a simple one. But uh, I think it sounds more realistic, actually, because that's uh, a lot of times the Axon Body Cam 3, I do believe, uh, the start. And it sounds a little bit more unique and it sounds a little bit more realistic, you know. So totally up to you, but I'll, I'll provide the link for you. Uh, it'll probably be called something different than this. But just notice that I renamed it to fit uh, the other one that is inside here. So you would end up replacing that sound. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's go ahead and go into the game. It's already installed. And let's see what it sounds like. So in order to load this, uh, you can have Raid Shook do it for you. I'm sure most of you already know how to do that. I won't go into detail anymore, but uh, if you want to load it in the game, just uh, press F4 and just say load and then start typing in Axon signal. Press tab and press enter and it'll load it for you. And if you look to the left, so now uh, it is actually enabled. You do a couple different things with this mod. It's pretty cool. All right, if you pull out your weapon, you'll hear that sound right there. So it takes a couple of seconds, a little, little small delay, which is a good thing. You don't want it to activate immediately. It's more realistic if it does that. If you reholster your weapon, uh, it does not deactivate. That's realistic, right? Because uh, it's not supposed to. So in order to de deactivate it, what you do is hold down the O key in this case. We're going to hold it down. You're going to get a little message to the left of the mini map. That is uh, after you uh, get through using it. I'm going to wait for things to pop up off my screen. So if you unholster your weapon and start aiming, or you know, you start running down the street, it activates the body cam sound, which is kind of cool. And once again, when you get done and you know things are on a kind of code four, hold down your O key for about three seconds or so. And it'll save it like that. 
Now, another cool thing, another cool feature that he's got, you know, added in here is if you have a pet stopped, uh, double tap the O key. Mm -hmm. It'll do it for you as well. And then as you, uh, maybe you dismiss them, okay? Maybe you get done with your interaction. Hold down your O key again for about three to four seconds, roughly. It'll deactivate. Now, in order to deactivate all sounds, if you just don't want to really use the mod on the fly, uh, press your shift key plus the O key. If you look to the top left above the minimap, it says all uh, axon signal systems disabled. And so uh, if I pull out my gun, nothing's going to happen. Or you could just unload the plugin, totally up to you. So if you want to reactivate it again, press your shift plus the O key. It'll re -able, enable the sounds again. Well, I'll show you how the stage three lighting works. This also works for non-ELS vehicles. You put on your sirens or your lights are there. It'll activate the uh, body cam right there. I should say the body signal sound, you know what I mean? So that's kind of a cool touch, I like that. Now you may be asking yourself, uh, you know, what about the body cam overlay, right? Well, this mod really doesn't do the body cam overlay. Uh, let me turn up. Let me take off the peds. These peds are annoying and the cars are annoying right now. All these peds and their conversations drive me nuts, guys. The body cam overlay, uh, it's, it's more meant for, uh, I don't think he decided to make that because it's already tied into the body cam mod. And I've already done a video on that. If you want to see how this works, uh, top right of your video right now, there's an Axon body cam uh, tutorial and it shows you how to replace certain things and how to do things, how to make the mod a little bit more unique. But you can load that mod if you like. So if I go to uh, press F4, I already have it installed. So I'm gonna type in a load plugin, uh, body cam. And then he's also giving you some body cam settings as well. So if you do have the body cam mod installed, uh, let's go back to the internet real fast. I'll show you where he's got that. Down here under his uh, download for the Axon signal, uh, right here. You'll see that it supports the uh, immersive dispatch, which I don't really use, but it also supports the body cam by Sebo and then also the automatic siren cutout by Rich. I don't really use these two, but I use the body cam mod. And then you can see right here what he's uh, told you to do uh, to be able to kind of use it with the uh, the axon, you know, the axon signal, which you're going to keep getting beeps, you know, even if you're out of game, by the way, because it's a standalone plug in, right? So you're going to keep on getting beeps like that. Uh, let's just see what it looks like with the body cam mod. So I've already got it loaded. So if I go into first person mode, that's what it looks like right there. And then, uh, you know, it'll still work with uh, the first person mode with the body cam, which is kind of cool. It doesn't like take the, uh, I do kind of wish that it would take it off the screen. Uh, from my understanding, I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't do that. It'd be kind of cool if it did though, if he could figure out a way to take it off the screen. But he does give you the interval uh, between the beeps of the actual body cam mod so it doesn't interfere with the axon signal hopefully that makes a little bit of sense so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just leave it like that but uh you heard that little body cam sound so let me show you how to do that real fast we're just gonna replace that sound right so let's go ahead and unload uh, the axon signal let's go to axon signal and we want to replace this one right here that sound and we want to replace it with uh, this signal right here so it's pretty easy i already have it in a folder and it's gonna be named the same way at least i did I, I you have to name it exactly the same way the way file and just pull it into here and just replace it and so now we go back into the game and now let's load the body cam or the axon signal rather axon signal let's load it up but now when we unholster our weapon it takes a couple of seconds you'll get that sound so that's kind of a cool sound like that if you want to replace, you know, this sound right here. Uh, there might be some uh, good ones out there. I could probably uh, do that myself and just lower the, uh, maybe the volume of that because it, it's a little bit loud, but it's not too bad. So uh, if you feel like uh, downloading one, maybe I could try to find you one that's on Google or something like that. It's a WAV file editor. It's a free download. And then you would just open it up and then just de decrease the volume, you know, intensity of the WAV files and then just save it and rename it to whatever the modder wants you to. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head on out of here. Hopefully you got some uh, good use out of today's video. And hopefully I demoed that enough for you guys so that way you can uh, you know use this particular plugin. It's got a lot of good potential. And uh, we'll go ahead and see you on the next patrol, guys. Take care and stay safe.
Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.